Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to make an isometric line drawing from an existing model. So for to start with that, I've made a diagrammatic model here in the perspective view. And what we're going to do first is set our camera to be isometric. So one way to do that is to right click here on the perspective tab. And then if you scroll all the way down, you see there is a set view option that has the option isometric. So isometric comes with four angles, uh, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. This angle that I'm picking here is the looking from the bottom right. So I'm going to pick southeast. That gives us a an isometric view of our model. And you'll see that if, as we uh, rotate you can change the view angle, but it will break the isometric uh, projection. And shift right click um, holds, basically keeps the, the camera still and pans it over the page. So because I rotate it, I'm gonna have to restore back the set view, isometric southeast, and get back to my original view. To make this into a line drawing, I have to select everything and use the make 2D command. In the make 2D command, we have a couple of options here and I'm not gonna go through all of them right now. We just wanna get something out quickly. And to do that, I've turned project into view. That's our current isometric view. Uh, I keep it to maintain source layers because I only have one which is a default layer. And then of all of these options, I only, I'm only going to do the scene silhouette, but not hidden lines. Hidden lines will show you um, objects behind or that are clipped or behind a, a solid plane. We're gonna disable that for now. And all of that's gonna go to the standard layer name, Make2D. I'm gonna press okay here. And it doesn't take very long. And what happens now, a, a line drawing of rhino lines has been added on the construction plane and the top view. So in the parallel view, it looks kind of skewed, but if we go to top, it looks exactly like it looked in our parallel view. So now I can use my gumball to move this around a little bit and put this away from my existing model here. And now we have a line drawing of individual curves in Rhino. Typically, I export these to Illustrator, but before I export them to Illustrator, what I do is I make three layers in Rhino. And I'm going to call these bold, medium, and light. I'm going to give them some colors so it's easy for me to understand what's on what. Let's do purple, green, and cyan. Now all these lines here, they're all on the make on one of the make 2D la layers here. So some will be on the default layers and some will be on the scene silhouette that has been converted to, um, to the lines. Now, if I right click my scene silhouette and I go to select objects, um, nothing's gonna happen because all of them are on the default layer right below. Let me do that again, select objects. So this is the silhouette of the scene. I'm gonna join these together by using the command join. And I'm going to move that to the bold layer then I'm going to pick a couple of lines that define my shape. And I'm going to move them to the medium layer. And then I'm going to ch select anything that's remaining on this Make2D curves default layer. All that remains, I'm going to move to light. Now you'll see that in these examples where there are two lines overlapping, 
Rhino chooses which one comes first and which one last. We can change that order by right clicking here, select objects. So I want to select all the items on bold and I can use the command bring to front. And that'll show that line on top of the layers below. That's it.